All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do some a kind of problem where we're going to be finding um, an intersection of a normal line to this curve. We know one of the intersections is 1, 1. And we want to find what is the other point. Well, in order to figure out this out, there are many different questions we have to think about. Um, the first is, is that a line that is normal to this curve. Well, what is the line that is normal to this curve? I guess that's first the thing that we have to figure out. So to figure out the line that's normal, we need to figure out a point and the slope of this line. Well, the point of this line, we know that one of the intersection points that is on this line is 1, 1. So we're going to start with that. The slope, because it's a normal line, we know we need to find the opposite reciprocal of the derivative. Because the normal is perpendicular to a tangent. So perpendicular to a tangent, that's what we have to know for a normal line. Even though we like to say that all lines are normal. <laughs> all right, well, let's continue on. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative then of this curve with respect to x, all right, and we're going to use some implicit differentiation, that's Cajun for implicit differentiation. And so what we have here is we're going to have 2x um, plus 2 times y, we have to use product rule here, um, plus 2xy prime minus 6y times y prime, make sure you use the chain rule, take the derivative of the outside, which is um, 2 times 2, which is 6y. And that's going to take the derivative of 0 is 0. From here, we're going to find out our tangent slope. So this is going to help us find our tangent slope. All right, right there. And we're going to plug in our point 1, 1. So we're going to plug in 1 in for x, and for y, and for x, and for y. And what we have here is 2 plus 2 plus 2y prime minus 6y prime. And that's going to equal 0. Finding our slope, we're going to have um, 4, negative 4 on the one side, and we'll have negative 4 or y prime right here. And so we have y prime is going to equal 1. Okay, or yeah, 1. So if that is 1, then our slope of our tangent line, all right, so our tangent slope, if this is 1, then our tangent slope has to be up to the circle of that, so our tangent slope has to equal negative one, because that's up to the All right, because this one right here is one, and then our tangent slope has to be negative one. Okay, so we have then our normal line equation, <clears throat> which is going to equal y equals negative one times x minus one plus one. We'll simplify this to negative x um, plus two. All right. Now, from here, we need to find an intersection, an intersection, okay, um, where this normal line right there, y equaling negative x plus 2, intersects this curve. Now, whenever you find intersections, we need to take and use a little substitution, so we need to create a system, all right? We're going to talk about systems, and to, we need to solve systems. Well, since we have two variables, we need two equations. Well, this is our first equation, y equal negative x plus 2, which is our normal line. And our other value is our curve. And our curve is x squared plus 2xy minus 3y squared equals 0. So to figure this out, what, in order to solve the system, is we usually use substitution or something like that. So we're going to use substitution. And I'm going to take this, negative x plus y, I'm going to plug it in for all the y's in our equation. So what we have here is going to be x squared plus 2x times negative x plus 2 minus 3 times negative x plus 2 squared. Zero. Now, from here, we're going to solve for x. All right. So we're going to take x squared. We got a little bit of a um, distributed problem problem right here. All right. I'll take this. We have negative 2x squared. We'll have plus 4x. We'll take this distributed through. We have plus 3x. Oops, what am I doing? I can't do that. 
bad algebra. Bad, bad administration. All right, so we have to take a three. I'll uh, do this. I apologize. Hopefully, you caught that. We're going to then foil this first. Ah, because it's squared. So, the bad algebra right there. All right, so negative x squared is going to be x squared. We have that times that, which we need a 4x plus 4. Ah, okay, and that's going to equal 0. Combine our like terms. So negative x squared. Um, we'll have a 4x right here. Now we can distribute it through negative 3x squared um, plus 12x minus 12 equals 0. Simplify a little bit more. Um, we'll have negative 4x squared plus 16x minus 12 equals 0. Factor out a good old negative 4. We'll have x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. We'll then factor this puppy x minus 3, x minus 1, equaling 0. Okay, so what are our x values? Well, our x values are going to equal 3 and x equaling 1. Well, that should come to no surprise because we know one of our points is 1, 1, and therefore our other intersection point we're going to use is this one right here when x equals 3. So to find our last intersection point, Where this normal line intersects this curve, we know that one of them is 1, 1, and our other one's going to be 3. And how do we find the other one? Plug it into here. So we have negative 3 plus 2, which will equal 3 minus 1, or negative 1. That's our other intersection. Awesome. And that's how we can find all right, the remaining intersections of a normal line to this curve. We first find what is that normal line by finding the point, which we're given, and the slope by using the tangent, take the opposite reciprocal, create our equation, use that equation by creating a system, a little substitution, plug it into the original equation, and then solve. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, well, I hope that helps you out on how to solve using implicit differentiation. All right, um, intersection to a normal code, a normal line, and a curve. Good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.